Good morning, my friends. Well, it's Thursday morning, only one day to go before Moosey comes home, and it's 7.30 in the morning. I'm up early, I know. I have to leave the house at 8.30 because I am due at the hospital at 9.40 for a meeting with the doctor and the physical therapist and the nurses to go over Moosey's progress. And after that meeting is over, I have a two-hour meeting with the physical therapist to learn all the exercises and what we have to do with Moosey when he's home. And they told me they would be practicing getting him in and out of the car. Well, I thought it was the fake car that's in the physical therapy room, but they said, oh no, we're gonna practice getting him in and out of your car. Oh boy, you know what I thought of right away. Well, <laughs> what they're going to do is have me pull my car up to a curb somewhere and take him down. Well, we've been doing this for four years. We have a you invention that you pull, plug into that little hole in the in the doorway. He leans on that and gets in. So we, we basically know how to do this, but they want to do that with me. So <laughs> yesterday I spent some time reorganizing my car. I do have my pride. And <laughs> I talked with Matthew yesterday afternoon and he said, Mom, don't worry about all the water bottles in the back. That's where I store a lot of things, as you know, because I can't carry stuff into the, the house. I take it in little by little. I also keep all my patio cushions and covers and everything there when it rains, so I transfer them back and forth. Well, Matthew said, as long as the Del Taco papers and the cups don't fall out the front seat when you open the door, it's okay. <laughs> So you know what he's talking about. Well, yesterday, after I did quite a bit of work inside here, as you notice, I did work a little bit on the mantle too. Of course, I always have to take time out to do a little bit of decor. I prefer that to the cleaning. <laughs> and I took my Dyson out, just the hand part, and I started to vacuum out the, the front seat and the floor and everything, throw all the whatever's away. And I'm missing a part. The exhaust on the Dyson, a little cap has come off. So I kept blowing back in my face and wasn't working correctly. So I kind of had to do all that by hand. And I have to order a new part. I've looked all over the place. I don't know what happened because I don't use it that often. But well, I haven't anyway the past two weeks. So I have to get that fixed. When I showed you my makeup that came in the mail last week, my duo contour set. I neglected to show you one of the most exciting parts of these little tubes. They're very nice size and I just hope that what's inside is filled up at least halfway. But when I showed you the a contour bronzer, which I believe, I'll, I'll take the tops off both of them, is this one. And that's what I've just been putting on my cheeks, the sides of my forehead, and the sides of my nose a little bit. It's working out fine. It's not too dark and I'm not using the blush. I kind of prefer it. But what I didn't show you was that when you take the cap off the other end, look what's on there. Each tube or stick has its own brush. Isn't this cute? And it's nice and firm and it's firm enough to be able to push the contour into your face. You know, I don't use brushes too much, but I'm going to start doing this because this is great. So you have your contour on one side, the brush on the other, and it's same on the other stick. The highlighter here and on the other end, the brush. I put the information down below the video. So just touch right under the video, that little black dark space, and it, it gives you a drop down. And right under the description where you read the description, it says more, push more, and you will find that I put the information. I don't do links, but all you have to do is go to Amazon or wherever and type in the information that I give you. I don't have an Amazon store, so I, I'm not doing links. That takes quite a bit of time too. But do get these, they're wonderful. They're $11.98 for, for both of them. And if you want blush too, I suppose you can have another. I do have my little elf blush, but I find I don't really want it or need it. 
by the way, I today I have on my Revlon number 625 Iced Amethyst on, and I do put a little bit of my glow on top just to give it a little bit of a glow. So I'm kind of ready for Moosey. I spent a lot of time yesterday kind of getting some more things out of the house. Some of my coat, long line sweaters and coats and things. I do have some room out in the hanging closets. I have some wardrobes out in the shed and I'm just kind of generally picking up. But remember the army of people that will start coming in and out won't start until next week. So I still have the weekend to finish cleaning and I might have to borrow Colleen's vacuum to clean up here. Moosey knows what our little cottage is like and it's not bad, it's cozy and warm. And don't you like my little addition of some more greenery here? I have to tell you that yesterday on the way home from the hospital, I just happened, no, it was Tuesday, Let's see, let's do it. it was Tuesday. I just happened to go by the thrift shop, my savers. And of course it was Tuesday, senior discount, 30% off. That's a lot. Didn't need anything at all. Actually, I was looking for a walker. They have Moosey using a walker and I had gotten rid of our walkers and he just uses the rollator. So I thought, well, maybe I could pick up another one there. You have to rent them from Medicare now. And I thought, nuts to that, I can get one. I thought we got that equipment for free, but maybe she's wrong, maybe I'm wrong. I'll have to investigate that again. But who wants to rent a walker when I can pick one up for 10 bucks at the thrift shop? So I did go there. And what I want is one of those adjustable ones. It, it adjusts on the top bar where it goes into probably about maybe less than 18 inches. I want it to be able to get into the bathroom door, which as you know, in our tiny cottage, the doorways are smaller to the bathroom and into the shower. There's also what they call a tub transfer that I don't have a tub, but it's a, a seat that I can't explain it, but it helps you not have to stand in the shower and you sit on it it, the legs come on the outside of that little lift that you have to step over to get into a shower. But the feet are on the outside. You sit facing the outside of the bathroom and then you swivel, turn sideways and scoot yourself inside the shower. You're still sitting on the chair. It's a nice padded chair. Now, Medicare doesn't provide those, but I have Matthew looking into those for me just to see if maybe that might fit in our tiny bathroom. Now, back to the <laughs> back to the thrift shop. So I just happened to ride by and I scooted in and I found a few things. I will wait until maybe a couple of days to show you some of the things that I picked up. Always go to the jewelry counter. I did see a walker. I didn't get it because it wasn't adjustable. Matthew's gonna find an adjustable one for me, I think, and probably have it by Monday. He still prefers using his rollator around the house, but I did get this pretty, you know I wear cuffs because the um, bangles don't go around my arthritic knuckles anymore. By the way, my finger is getting worse. You've probably noticed it, but the collagen that I take keeps the pain away. And I know it's funny looking, my other fingers haven't started yet, but the collagen is definitely helping me. I, I attribute it to my energy too. I uh, found this really neat silver cuff that has some chains that just uh, go on top of it. You know, I prefer big chunky jewelry and a few other jewelry items that I will show you. What else did I pick up? Another pretty shawl, which I'm, I might wear, maybe tomorrow I'll wear it and show you before all the spring weather comes. It's not here yet. I understand we might have a little rain tomorrow morning. It still is cold out, so I'm still able to wear all my winter sweaters. And the, the heat has not started yet for spring. I thought we were finished with the rain, but it's supposed to rain Friday. I just hope that I get Moosey home before the rain comes. I don't know what time he'll be discharged. Micah said he'll be around in the, in the daytime, the early daytime to help me in with him if Moosey needs help. And I think maybe I'd feel more comfortable to just have Micah to be there. Matthew said he would come up, but I said, no, it's okay, wait until later in the day. So he's coming up later in the day to bring whatever he can to help Moosey around the house. 
and I haven't decided what the meal is. Maybe a nice soup. Moosey has lost, he told me last night on the phone, he has lost 10 pounds in the hospital in two weeks. Isn't that wonderful? I thought he was putting on weight. Not that he looked it, but the meals he was having, these hot meals with meat and potatoes and veggies, they were limiting his desserts. He did find out he was on some kind of a specific diet, which I think is great. So we've got a head start of 10 pounds and I'm going to try and keep working on that. As you know, he eats cereal every morning. He loves it, but they didn't give him cereal there. So maybe it's the sugar in that cereal. Also, he drinks a couple of cans of soda, diet soda per day, but maybe that's not good either. They had him drinking water, but they restricted his liquid. Why? I don't know. At least this is a start for a video. I'll take what little I can. I don't know what they allow, by the way, showing people's faces there. I don't know. But I will take what I can as we go through some exercises and things at the hospital. And then I will see you tonight when I come home so that I can put up a video tomorrow morning. And then tomorrow morning, hopefully, we'll do what Moosey wants is the big spectacular bonanza movie of Moosey leaving the hospital saying goodbye to all the people that he has just loved. They've taken wonderful care of him, kept him very happy, and it'll be a happy day. I want to get my caps back on these. These are wonderful. I would suggest for $11.99, and I forget even how, I think I found them by accident, but I did want to find some contour sticks, and I just love these with the little brushes on the end, and I hope you like the uh, contouring. It's softer, I think. Okay, I will see you later. I have to finish getting everything together and I'll meet you at the hospital, hopefully. I've just reached the hospital and I just found a, a place to park up in the front because I do have to pull my car up when it's time to bring Moosey out to try to get him in the car. So I'm here and I'm early for our appointment. I wanted to tell you that I do have my Martha Stewart puffer vest on that Dubby gave me for my birthday. And I just love it. It's so white, lightweight, and at the same time, cozy warm. It still is chilly, but it's sunny and nice. And I'm hoping that we won't have any rain tomorrow when we bring Moosey home. Today is my training day and my meeting with the doctors and the team. So I'm ready to go in. I'm excited about it. You know, someone asked me in the last video, will I be doing spring fashions? And yes, I will. I'm very excited to do it. I have a lot of ideas about various types of things to go into spring with. Plus a lot of it will be my own things and I'm gonna start digging them out, but not until I finish my sweaters and my long line sweater coats. I did not take any film at the hospital. When I got there, uh, Moosey was in bed and uh, they were about ready to come in for the meeting. Doctor came in and I think someone had taken his blood pressure earlier and his blood pressure was low. And we were wondering why he was so, why it was so low, but he had been in bed probably since about 3.30 or 4 the previous day through the night and it was quarter to 10, 10 o'clock. So he probably was in bed too long or something. I think we found out that inactivity for Bill is not good. He has to be moving around. But we did go out to my car, which I had found a, a good parking place right fairly near the entry. So that was good. And they wheeled him down. He didn't walk down. So I have come to the conclusion that he is walking, but He's not anywhere near where he was before all this happened. So the physical trainers that will be coming out to the house are going to have their work cut out for him, but he'll do it. I came home, you know, I'm exhausted right now. I, I thought I was going to get more work done around the house. Shani, so sweet, texted me and she said, Nanny, would you like me to come down? She was at school. She said, would you like me to come down after school and help you a little bit? I said, oh, that would be great. And she's on her way down now. And I, I just am tired. I've done a little and Moosey doesn't need everything fine. I do have some more vacuuming, but I'm not gonna do that. It's okay. 
besides my vacuum's not working right. I don't know, you know. <laughs> I do lose my energy every once in a while and I'm used to, as you know, when I start feeling myself needing a rest, I head for the bed and I am used to just vegging for a while until my energy comes back. And you know, I haven't been doing that. I've been on the go for the past two or three weeks, not taking my rest. And I, I know what caretakers are supposed to take care of themselves. And I have to start watching that. I don't want to let my, my immunity system get down. So Shannon and I are going to pick up things around Moosey's world. <laughs> I think there is still half a broken cup somewhere down there. You know, it's very difficult for me to get down on my knees on the floor. And uh, he drops a lot of things around his chair. And he's very particular about me not getting into all that stuff down there. Some of it's good, some of it's not good. <laughs> because he's afraid I'm gonna throw stuff out on him. So I'm gonna have Shannon do that and a few other little things. She, she'll be here any minute, and that's gonna be enough to be able to get Moosey tomorrow. And if someone said the people will probably be out Saturday, I don't think I want them here. I want a little rest over the weekend. Let Moosey rest. I'll do the exercises and everything that I have to do with him, but I don't wanna have to deal with people coming in and out all weekend long. So I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna tell them to start Monday. So I'm sorry I didn't get any Hopefully, pictures. Hopefully we will be able to do at least a little bit of a movie tomorrow with Moosey leaving. I hope his blood pressure and everything is fine. The doctor came in later and checked on him and the blood pressure was up with a little more activity. And quite frankly, I think that's what he needs. Well, Shani just left. <laughs> we managed to organize. Moosey's world all around the chair and around the back. You know, when he drops something, he can't pick it up. There's a, the, a lot of his little treasures down there and everything. We didn't throw one thing away, only two Kleenexes. Everything is in a nice box and it's organized in a couple of bags, so he will be pleased. And I am out of steam. This is not a good time to lose my energy because I've got to ramp it up once he comes home. But I couldn't finish what I wanted to accomplish before he came home. My vacuum cleaner Dyson, Shannon came down <clears throat> and she tried to get it to work. And with the cap on the exhaust that comes out the other end, it, it makes that it just won't work. Bad time to have that poop out too. So I might have to borrow Colleen's tomorrow. <clears throat> Maybe Matt will uh, help out with some of the other things. There's not too much left. It's just, you know, with a homecoming like this, I wanted everything perfect. And uh, with people coming to the house, I wanted to do extra things. But I know me and I am at that level where when I get like this, I head into the bedroom and I do my rest. So, things will be good. Hopefully, Moosey will be um, up to par in the morning. I know it's going to be a hard road, but we'll do it. And I have to keep my, my positive attitude going because the alternative is just not for us. Good night, everyone. Say some extra prayers tonight for us. I love you all and thank you so much for everything. Your love and comments and care and blessings. God bless us all.